the number one stone for your home decor and for your environment to be safe and feeling great is black tourmaline either in your front porch while people are coming in or right inside the door. As the door open, the black tourmaline should be right there. That actually boomerangs the negative energy back out. You can also put them on your windowsills and that keeps the whole space nice and protected. What I don't recommend is that you put your black tourmaline in your bathroom or in your kitchen, because that is not an area where you're gonna be needing it. So everything is energy and everything is medicine when it comes to stones. And so we're trying to create exactly the energy that you want in your home. Now, do put amethyst in your entryway to bring in beautiful energy. And do put them in your family room and in your living room what amethyst does actually is bring in great conversation, either for meditation, if you like to do a round circle, group therapy, whatever it is you like to do in your living room, it will accent that and help that just grow. It's just fabulous. It's a creator and it's creative. So that's a definite must. Rose quartz, one of my favorite, favorite stones outside and inside. Do not put small rose quartz that are thin or carved outside because it will bleed the color. But do put them indoors. You can bring big boulders outside your house because it's dense so the color won't fade. And all the fragile, more beautiful pieces you can bring indoors. Where would I put rose quartz? It's in your bedroom to rejuvenate you, keep you calm, ready to go to sleep, bring in self-love throughout the night. In the family room, because you wanna bring in all that gorgeous love energy for your family. Your living room for those that come in that you want to induce a love energy to them. And of course in the kitchen, because that's where we all conjugate and enjoy to conversation and pretty much eat and have fun together. Quartz can be put outside, that's not an issue, or in the sunlight. But if you have a negative connotation, or if you have somebody in your home that is a little bit on the negative side, so the glass is half empty all the time, rather than full and abundant. If that person is not so positive, I would definitely say skip the quartz, because it's a magnifier by 10 times, you know? We have so many other minerals and crystals and geodes for them. We do not need to add that specific one. Though it is so abundant and it's the master healer, but for those that are more on the positive side. So tiger's eye is another amazing stone. It's dense, it keeps you grounded, brings you focus, and gives you the courage. Right now we have so many homes that our business are now in our homes after let's just say, things that happened in the past few years. So we are learning a new way of being in business. Might it be live streaming or more video conferencing and it's not face-to-face -face, or maybe you need to be using your phone. And a lot of people aren't very comfortable talking on the phone or even being on video at all. So a lot of courage is needed, a lot of grounding, understanding that it's okay and you can speak your brilliance and show your brilliance out to the world. So Tiger Eye is a phenomenal way of doing that. And big points, because it's a director of energy, big points to giving you that strength that you need. So two of those, hold them, hold on tight, and you can do it. And one of the do nots, and a lot of the confusion is between Crystal uh, salt crystal lamps, rose quartz lamps, and red selenite lamps, okay? So they are very, very different, each one. Two of them will dissolve in water. So the red selenite can dissolve in water if it's soaked or if it's in running, standard running water. Not so difficult and if you just keep it away, it is will not dissolve with mist it will not dissolve 
with damp or humid uh, weather. So don't worry about that. Uh, now, salt lamp, on the other hand, will dissolve and start getting crumbly and white if it's in a humid area. If so, you need to put a higher light bulb to keep the heat going. Um, also, salt do not, for sure, is you don't leave it for a very long period of time. It absorbs energy and you really can't clear the energy. So after about six months, I would say to chuck it. Don't give it to your cows if you have a farm because that's not a good horse lick or a cow lick, okay? Because it's stuck with all of your stuff. But you can chop it up and, and put it in your garden and that's a perfect place to give us actually the 84 trace minerals back into the garden. Your plants will love it. And another thing, if you get one of those bowl style salt lamps with the chunks on there, just remember that if you use them, you can toss it into your beautiful bath and really bring in that nice salt, Himalayan salt energy. It's phenomenal, but it will dissolve. So just remember that you'll run out and you'll have to buy some more. So for relationships, do put everything in pairs. So if you can get an amethyst pair, that's cut in half of the exact pair, wonderful. If you can get rose quartz points the same size or close to the same size, wonderful. If you can put uh, celestite, which is a blue geode from Madagascar that I love, angel energy, very soft, wonderful for the bedroom. Pairs as close to, wonderful. If you wanna be single, just use one. If you wanna be having a relationship, even if you don't have one right now, or if you have a wonderful relationship and you wanna induce that, pairs on the bedroom. That is a definitely do, 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 okay? So citrine, certain specific citrine is called the golden citrine, okay? And that's from the golden dragon in feng shui. That was the one that brings in the prosperity, the abundance, but not just abundance, but keeps it in the family. So we're more talking about wealth creation. And the do on citrine is to put it behind your back, and in your register, in your bank bag, in your wallet, in your pocket, and pretty much, oh, oh, a nice druzy next to your credit card machine, wherever you make money. If it's contracts, you put it in the drawer where all your contracts are. That's the do. What do you don't do with citrine? Hmm, difficult, because citrine you can put anywhere because it brings also in happiness, and it brings in calm, and it's the solar plex, so it lets you shine your light to the world. So don't put it in your bathroom because you don't need to shine your light in the bathroom, okay? Um, or I would put it in my den. I would put it in my living room, and it's a warm hue of gold, or like even can go from yellow to orange, actually, and sometimes it can go to a deep, dark brown. So it matches any decor. I personally don't like to put it outside in the sun just because it already was heated. And when you have heat, it's actually a little bit more fragile. So I would stick with it. You can put it out in, in, if it's like chunks, you can put it outside. But if it's a really high quality citrine geo, definitely indoor piece. So I really wanna thank you so much for coming and figuring out the do's and don'ts in home decor. Don't forget to like and subscribe and press that bell so you'll get all my notifications when I bring in something new and fabulous for you.